go. Oh, wall scrapes. 186 wall scrapes with that SR20 DET. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel for a new game to the channel, Hashiria Drifter. So a lot of you guys have been telling me about this game and I've been uh, checking out a little bit. So I've been playing it a little bit and it's actually pretty fun. So we're going to take a look at it, give you guys my basically impressions on the game and how I feel the game is. So as you can see we got a little bit of money up top there and uh, we have a pretty uh, stanced out 180SX with some deep dish wheels. So first impressions of the graphics it's visually it's very stunning and the fact that you can just uh you know take parts off and do whatever you want and you have to take certain parts off in order to change parts like that it's it's, it's kind of a very cool game and you know the adjustability with camber you can stance it out like stupid amounts of camber and you have you know wheel track and all that stuff basically from the get-go which is you know pretty awesome so Visually, the game looks amazing. The cars look incredible. Uh, the sound, when we get into actually drifting, is so much better. You know, it's it's incredible. Like, the wheels look just sick with the chrome lips and the, you know, the offset, you know, deep dish wheels. So, there's a lot of things you can buy. We're going to be getting into that as well today because, like I said, we got a little money. And uh, well, we got a pretty stock GT86 that needs a, a full drift workout. So, we're going to do that. But first, we're going to get into this 180SX that we have and it is basically put my back on thank you we're gonna take the hood off we are rocking you know 265 horsepower in it set it you know 7,000 rpms 1.2 bar of boost pressure so we're gonna pop that hood back on and we're just gonna go you know do a little single run and the cool thing is we have you know four tracks you know, four decent tracks. You can go online with a bunch of people. You run through them kind of thing. We're going to get a little more into that. But my impressions on it are it, it looks great. The characteristics are a little bit different. you got to kind of get used to those. But it's it's a fun game to play. Now, if we had more cars, more tracks, and stuff like that, it would be even better. But, like, it's, the sounds... Sounds amazing. So we're just going to rip it. right into a pole so the characteristics and the driving aspect of the game I needed to get used to kind of it is a little different than what I'm used to with like torque drift and stuff like that but it the game does feel pretty good and ooh, that was a nice slide there we go oh wall scrapes 186 wall scrapes with that SR20 DET love how the game looks love how the cars sound the grip characteristics, you can change the grip level of basically the front and rear tires, which kind of makes you able to fine tune it Ugh. for the car itself and because you don't have tire options. So it makes it like you're changing grip levels of tires for based on power and stuff like that. Oh, I don't have damage on, but like I said, the driving characteristics needed to take a minute to get used to, but the in-car view, very loud first and foremost, so we're just going to take a listen to it. As we go into the grass. Are we stuck? I think we're stuck. Oh, we're stuck in a ditch. So, first impressions of driving. It takes a minute to get used to. Once you kind of get used to, like, pretty much just feathering, feathering the throttle out and getting it sideways, the game feels really fun. So, like I said, we're going to get into spending some of that money on that FRS. Or GT86 Super BRZ. Ow. And we're going to throw a nice motor in there we're gonna get into building that car up this was kind of just my fun little car that I had I could sell it and get more money if I wanted to but I don't think I'll need more than a hundred grand Ooh, wall tap so there is no clutch so what I noticed is if you stay on throttle and go handbrake your wheels are still spinning but if you get off throttle and go back on your handbrake they locks the wheels up instantly so I mean, that's how a normal car would work, too. So, it's very 
fun and like I said the graphics are visually stunning on this game and just the sounds the fire the you know customizing of the wheels and how you can you know just change it all how you want and make the car what it, it you know you want it to be now I wish there was a little more tracks I wish there was like actual clipping point points and stuff like that but you know it's a very solid pace and it's a very fun game so let's get in to that GT86 we're gonna go grab the GT86 and go back so we're on remove part I know we are gonna be doing full body upgrades on this car so we're gonna start with those we're gonna pull the fenders pull the side skirts pull the rear quarter uh, I think we can keep the trunk rear bumper Recorder, side skirt, fender, bumper, and hood. And you know what? We're going to pull the engine out too because we are going to go with a different engine because we have an F20 in there right now. So that's what we're going to start with. So basically, oh, well, we pulled the exhaust off. We'll put those back. So we are going to change the wheels and stuff too. So we might as well just pull the wheels off, drop this thing on frame. There we go. So now we can go into a bunch of parts here so we're gonna sell all our fenders and stuff so I don't get confused rear bumper rear fender rear side skirt rear bumper hood we're gonna get rid of the engine too and we're gonna get rid of the wheels because well we're gonna buy some upgraded nicer wheels so now my car looks pretty bare so we're gonna go to the shop and do what we can do on this so we got a Jay-Z 2 Jay-Z GTE we're gonna buy that and then we got to get some new wheels for the car. There's a lot of really cool wheels. I think we're going to do some 1552s. So we got one, two, three, four of those wheels. We're going to leave the suspension how it all sits now. But now we need to go into the body. And now we go with the body kits. So I want to do a super aggressive, basically, rocket bunny. So I think we're going to do the front bumper four. We're going to do front bumper four, which means we need left fender four, right fender four. We already got seats in the car. We're going to do hood four. Uh, left side skirt four. Right side skirt four. And we're going to do rear bumper. Rear bumper four. Because we're not going to do five. We're going to buy the upgraded roll cage. We're going to do rear wing. And we're also going to buy the bigger wing too. And now we need... Where are we? We're gonna do probably rear, f right rear fender three and right and left rear fender three. So we're gonna do buy all those parts to start. Then we're gonna start putting things in here. So, like I said, it's actually so sweet to be able to do this. We're not gonna put the bumper in yet, but we are gonna put the wheels on. There we go. So now we got some wheels on the car, some 1552 basically tarmac looking wheels. We're gonna put the exhaust back on. So left fender three. Oh, that's aggressive rear fender three we definitely got some uh some wide stuff going on there throw the cage in there we're gonna remove the old cage we're gonna sell that put the full gusseted cage in there and now we're not sure on wing yet we're gonna put the rear bumper four on side skirt four left side skirt four so those do kind of match up a little bit not as close as I'd like them to so we may have to change our fenders so right front fender there we go now we got some wide fenders in the front so we're definitely gonna be able to stance out the front of the car carbon fiber hood I'll take that off for right now so now we need put that front bumper on there we go now we got an aggressive body I think we're going to change the color of the car before we get too far into this. We're going to go to like a gray, gray color, but we got to paint everything, which is kind of cool that you basically have to paint everything individually, which gives you that, you know, aspect of being able to just paint stuff. Now it would be sweet if we had some graphics and stuff to go on here. So we're going to leave that. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. So a little bit lighter. Kind of doing a Ryan Turk style stance. There we go. So now we got to figure out what wing we want to put on. 
We got the rock bunny wing. Oh, no. I want to remove that, not paint that. Remove that. Or we have... Where to go? We have the big aggressive wing. You know, I'm going to go with the big aggressive wing, honestly. We're going to go with that. So now we need to put the 2J in there, but I want to go back into the body and buy a different hood. I don't know how I'm feeling about the carbon hood. We're going to buy hood 3. And then... We may have to go with bumper five. We're gonna buy that as well and see which which bumper fits better. We're gonna take that bumper off. Oh yeah, bumper five fits way better. So now we got a big hole in our uh, in our car. So that is where this two J is gonna go. Put that two J in there, nice and uh, nice and cool in there. We're gonna put the, that hood on there. So the car looks solid, but now we gotta paint the hood. Since we did put that on, we're gonna leave the wheels white. So now we gotta work on adjustment of our wheel placement and everything. So we're gonna kinda get a better zoom in there. And we're going to adjust this real quick. So now, we still got a lot of money. We didn't spend much. So now we're going to adjust the wheel. We're gonna bring, bring it out some. Give it some more camber. And I think we're gonna leave the ride height the way it is. That's a pretty nice stance. Oh, we definitely gotta do something to the back. Need to bring these back wheels much further out. Leave them camber, there we go. So that's sitting much better than it was before. But now we need to adjust our 2J. So we gotta pull the hood. It looks like we're going to boost up to 340 at 8,000 RPMs. We'll see how that sounds. We're going to leave the hood off for right now while we are testing this. So we're going to go to the port just to give it a test. Oh my. Go from very low power to a lot more power. Ooh. Um wall ride so I should maybe have not have gone straight to so much power right away but why not go big or go home there we go we may have to change the grip level because right now this car is just skating yeah we're gonna go change the grip level of the car a little bit more we're gonna go here we're gonna add some grip that's good it's about right and well we'll go to drift track one Basically, Japan-style driving. See if we can enter in. Oh, oh, no, in the grass. So, driving characteristics are definitely something that I would need to get used to continuing to playing this game. But we have a pretty aggressive GT86 now. With a really nasty motor in it. that can actually drive very well. So we're gonna change the tuning of this engine. This can go up to 9,500 RPMs. We're gonna drop that actually down to 7,000 and see how that goes. 327 horsepower. We're gonna try it on basically that. So if you guys wanna keep seeing this game on the channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you guys play this game, what are your pros and cons about it? It gripped up a lot on the grass. I could probably start using tilt steer, which will change how the game handles. I just love when this car spits fire. All right, it's handling much better at 7,000 RPM peak. Kind of dirt, grass root dirt driving it, but we're kind of getting it now. So, if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing this game on the channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section down below. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys would like to get in this game and maybe do a session, since you guys can create open sessions, which we'll take a look at that real quick. You guys can create basically online sessions now and people can join. So, I may start doing some 
open things. See, we got some stuff going on. Drift track one. We're going to see if we can't connect. There's only two people there. Oh. So this is a 1v1 game. All right. So I was, I was wrong. There is basically some tandem competitions. And uh, we're actually, either he's glitching or we were beating him by a lot. Oh, so you can do point style competitions in this game, which I didn't even know about. So that's kind of cool. So we need to gain more points because he's definitely ahead of us now. Kind of gripping up a little bit too much. I don't think my grip levels are incorrect. Or maybe I should go back to the lower power car. So you can set it up. If it's two people, it's like a one-on-one -on -one almost. Oh, too much. He's definitely beating me. So like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing this, make sure you let me know down below. New game to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. I got to get control of this car. Oh, this game's tough.